excited to start our new blended journey with you. We've been putting lots of procedures and processes in place to keep you all safe and we can't wait to show you. It will be important for you and your family to do a health screening each morning checking for symptoms. Arrival will look a little different this year. We will only be able to unload one bus at a time to allow for social distancing and traffic flow. Your family will also be asked to follow strict drop-off procedures to keep you safe. Buses will use the front entrance. Students will sit in assigned seats and stay in seated until dismissed by the bus driver. Students will exit the bus and be directed to a specific entrance depending on their grade level. We will have staff at the buses and at each entrance to help direct students. The first few weeks of school we will help students get to their classrooms because we know none of our Wolverines have been in the building this year. Our car riders and drivers will use the back parking lot. We are asking families to drive through to the back parking lot. Please do not arrive before 7.30. We will begin escorting students from cars at 7.30. In order to help stagger our arrival, we are asking families with a last name from A to L to arrive between 7.30 and 7.35. And families with a last name of M through Z to begin arriving at 7.35. Please do not allow your child to get out of the car at any other space besides the back parking lot. Staff will greet students and direct them to one of the three doors they will be entering through the building. We will also have staff at building doors and space throughout the building to direct students and remind them of safety procedures and social distancing. We appreciate your patience as we learn this new procedure. A reminder to please have your student ready to exit the car immediately upon entering our parking lot. They should have their masks on, their winter gear and backpacks ready to go. Staff will open the car door to let students out and close the car door behind them. Parents will not be allowed to exit their vehicles. Finally, we are asking for your patience and understanding as we navigate these new procedures. Our number one goal is safety for students. Please anticipate that this process will take much more time than our typical drop-off and pickup has in the past. We will continuously review these processes and update them as necessary. When your student arrives at school, they will be directed to their grade level's door and they will enter the building. They will then be escorted to their classroom during the first few weeks of school. After students are familiar with routines and the layout of the building, they will be able to walk to their classrooms on their own. As students enter the building, they will be asked to sanitize their hands at one of the hand sanitizing stations. As they enter, they are to stay to the right and remain socially distanced. From there, they will walk in a socially distanced line to their classrooms. A good way for students to check if they are far enough apart is to extend their arms and make sure they cannot touch anyone around them. We call these airplane arms. Depending on your student's classroom, they will either be separated six feet apart via tables or student desks. Students will store their materials near them for easy access and also to minimize contact with others. Students will put their belongings in every other cubby and we will use a rotation system to put things away and get items from cubbies. Adults in the building who are working directly with students will be wearing face masks. Students will also be wearing face masks. If students do not have face masks, they will be provided for them. We will ask students to wash hands or use hand sanitizer throughout the day and as an additional preventative measure. Only the bottle filling option will be available at our water fountains. We encourage students to bring a water bottle to school with their name on it to use during the day. Disposable cups are available for students who do not have a water bottle. When using the bathroom, every other stall is blocked off. Only two students will be allowed to utilize the bathrooms at a time. Students will be taught procedures on how to ask if any other students are in the bathroom and will wait until there is an opening for them to use them. 
students will be eating lunch in the classroom. As a class, they will walk to the lunchroom together with their teacher, whether they are getting hot lunch or have lunch from home. This will provide students a walking break and allow them to pick up lunch or milk. Students will walk back to classrooms and will eat socially distanced, facing the same direction in their classrooms. Our custodians and additional staff will help with cleaning up. Students will be asked to hand sanitize and wash hands when they are finished with lunch. Students will be outside for recess. They will stay with their cohort, which is their class. We will have three zones outside at recess. The blacktop zone, the small recess playground, and the large recess playground. Each group will stay in their zone for the two days they are at school. Classes will rotate through zones over the week so that students have a variety of places to play outside. Each class will also have a bin of playground equipment that that cohort slash class will get to play with outside. Students will be required to wear masks outside at recess. At the end of the day, students who ride the bus will be escorted out their grade level doors. They will walk socially distanced to the buses. As students enter the bus, what we will have them sit in their assigned seats. Students who are being picked up in cars will be walked outside and will line up by grade level and teacher on the playground. We are asking the adults to have a sign in your vehicle that has your child or children's first and last name, their grade level and their teacher in the passenger side window. We will have staff stationed throughout the parking lot and playground in order to radio staff to let them know that you have arrived. We will escort students to the car socially distanced. Please understand that this process will take longer than our typical pickup procedures and we appreciate your patience and understanding. At this time we will not be allowing visitors into the building for any reason. If you are dropping your student off late, picking them up early, or you need to drop off something for your students such as a lunch, please remain in your vehicle and call the main office at 608-829 9360. Our office staff will work with you to meet your student at the car or bring your student out to you. It was so fun showing you us Middleton Wolverines. We cannot wait to see you. We've been waiting all year for this.